the 14th straight season, the Badgers are bowling. That's the longest streak in the Big Ten. Funny, it comes against the USC Trojans, a team Wisconsin hasn't played in 49 years, and a team Wisconsin has never beaten. Hi, everyone. Here at Badgers practice on Christmas Day, joined by Andy Baggett. I'm Chris Hall. Hope you're having a wonderful day already. We sure are. First time for Andy and I down on a bowl site with the University of Wisconsin. And of course, also the first time head coach Paul Christ running his show here, Andy, for the school. And we kind of get a chance of what it's like. We all came down here on the 24th, the first noticeable stamp he's putting on getting ready for USC. It's going to be a lot of fun watching him at practice and watching to see what they do. A couple of the things that I'm curious to see is do playbooks get expanded or do they get limited when you go into a bowl game? It'll be interesting to see what Paul Christ, how he compares this team that they're playing USC in terms of athleticism, in terms of scheme, that type of thing, to any team that they've played in the Big Ten. A couple of questions that uh, we're hoping to answer here as the, as the week of practice moves on. Yeah, lots to get to. There's the matchups. But also, let's talk about right now the fact that one more win, this team gets to 10 for the season. That would be just one of seven other schools to average 10 wins since 2009. Everyone loves this coach. All these guys love Paul Chris and you've been around him long enough to know just kind of what he's like. These guys like playing for him. They do, and it's evident. Earlier this season, I had a chance to uh, spend a day with Paul, start to finish early in the morning to late at night. Some of the things that stood out to me was just how his he was able to relate to the players in a casual way, but also in a commanding way. Uh, they listen to him, they respect him, it's very clear. He knows when to have fun, he knows when to keep it light, he knows when to instruct, he knows when to listen. And I think what struck me most about how he goes about this, and I think it's really the key to his relationship with his players, is that he, he, he listens, he solicits. Do you, how do you feel about this? Do you think this should be done? And I, and I think when players hear a coach do that, uh, they feel a part of the process and they feel that they have a, a larger stake perhaps in the, in, the, uh, in the grand scheme of things. And I think that's one of his greatest gifts. Yeah, that's one way to get some more buy-in, get everybody involved. We talked to a couple of guys today who spend a lot of time around the coach during practice and who are excited and want to get him that 10th win. Sometimes I'll go up to the offices to talk to my position coach. Um, I'll stop in Coach Chris's office after just to say hi, and I end up getting in a 30, 45-minute conversation. And <laughs> I realize I have to be somewhere and run out of there. So, I mean, he, just, he always likes to talk to the guys, likes to find out what you're doing. and is very personable so I and mean, it's been a good relationship. I like the way that he coaches, I like the way he approaches the game and the way that he kind of runs his team so you know to for his first year in Madison to be able to get 10 wins um, you know that's that does that kind of stuff doesn't just happen a 10 win season is a very good season so um, you know it'd be pretty sweet to end with a win. A lot to prepare when you're coming out going four hours away across the country to get ready for a bowl but it's a good thing coach Christ he's got someone who's been through it a time or two to talk to and bounce some questions off of. Barry Alvarez, former coach of the Badgers. Uh, uh, Paul and Barry spent time on the charter flight from, from Madison to San Diego talking about things that need to be done, talking about priorities, talking about uh, what issues might come up. It could be mundane, it could be huge. But when you have a guy at your disposal, like Paul does with Barry, Barry having coached the Badgers, Barry having nine bowl wins, one of the winningest coaches in terms of bowls in, in history. Uh, it, it's a good resource in the sense that uh, there may be things you haven't thought about. There may be things that uh, that Barry has seen that uh, that maybe Paul has not encountered before. But just having that that uh, kind of a little bit of a playbook onto itself of, of how things were done when Barry was the coach that made him successful, I think Paul was smart to kind of get some of those things out of the way. Yeah, he is an incredible resource. And why not ask when you have a chance to sit on a plane for four hours, ask him, hey, what should I expect? What are the things I don't know? And how can I put these players in the best position to win. That's what Coach did, talking to Barry Alvarez. And that's the first of five shows we're going to get to this week as Wisconsin gets ready for USC. Remember, USC, the last 13 games against the Big Ten, they've won all of them. Wisconsin hoping to break that streak. With Andy Baggett, I'm Chris Hall. Hope all of you are having a very Merry Christmas. More from San Diego as the Badgers get ready for the USC Trojans tomorrow.